Hi, welcome to Purple Plays Foundation. We're all about providing hope for children who have chronic illness. My name is Rochelle Lentini and I am the CEO. My background is in special education and I've tried to bring those resources and strategies that I've learned over the years into the world of children with chronic illness to assist families nurses, and child life specialists, social workers in their mission to help children and guide them to the best health possible. Our mission is to provide support and resources in the area of pediatric complex chronic care needs and give smiles to children and their families. And we do this because of our volunteers. We have no paid staff and we're 100% volunteer driven. The reason we do this is because we live it. We know it. We endure it every single day. Our youngest son, Parker, has grown up with many medical challenges over the years. At 18 months, he had allergies and asthma, but at eight years, that was the big one. That's when the journey really began. That's when the ongoing medical needs, daily medications, ongoing medical appointments began. He was diagnosed with systemic onset juvenile arthritis at the age of 10. Yes, it took us nearly two years to get a diagnosis. This disease is an inflammatory disease. Later, he was diagnosed with a common variable immune deficiency called hypogammaglobulinemia. His systemic JA is currently in remission and we are thrilled. However, since then, there has been development of overlapping syndromes in the areas of juvenile arthritis. He has to battle a lot he goes through a lot of procedures, hospital stays, surgeries, infusions, shots. It doesn't stop. So we battle not only for him, but for all the children who we sit alongside each and every visit in those infusion rooms, in those clinics, in radiology, all those waiting rooms over the years. We battle because their battle is our battle, and we want to win. But some children have lost that battle, but we will still fight in their name, in their memory. The four candles on the left was an especially difficult week. We lost four children that we knew in one week. Not the children pictured, but others. The children pictured are just a few of the kids we've met along our journey who have lost their battle. So we fight and we share and we provide hope wherever we possibly can. And this love that we share is shared through many organizations. These are just a few of the places that we have either donated to provide resources and support to, or partner directly with. 100% of our proceeds fuel our goals. Our first goal is providing social emotional resources around coping with medical trauma. Our second goal is funding and resources that result in smiles, such as gift cards, family connect days, camps, holiday gifts, grants, anything that would put a smile on a family and ch child's face. And our third goal is funding pediatric fellowships due to shortages in many specialty areas. We need these medical professionals. We need these people in our children's lives to help them get to the healthiest life possible. 
So around our first goal, social emotional resources and supports, one of the main things we do is take all those best practices that I learned in the field of early childhood and special education and brought them into what we call our Purple Play is Coping Kit, where we teach children how to problem solve, self-regulate their emotions, and think through to solutions when they have problems. We would love for every single child to have a kit to help guide them through coping because we know kids have big feelings. We also provide Tucker Turtle puppets and books and this uses the turtle technique that I've used many years and seen much progress with where children can take such big emotions as being scared or being um, frustrated or angry and regulate themselves to a place of calmness so that they can think through a situation and to solutions. We also have our coping book bundle which includes the book and some of our hands-on materials. And then there's our power patches which are these patches that children can iron on to their purple cape to proudly display things that they have done or goals that they have achieved, such as getting a shot, getting an infusion, having procedures, maybe a surgery, or even such social emotional goals like comforting someone, being kind. And then we have resources on our website that people can print and use that contain tips and tools, such as helping your children advocate for their own medical needs and supports. And this can happen very early on. We really enjoy going to the hospitals or clinics and sitting with the people who directly work with our children, like the nurses, social workers, and child life specialists to guide them and coach them on how to use our materials. And we're so proud of funding and providing resources that result in smiles. It is that joy that we can bring to a family or children that just a little extra medicine to help them feel better. And we love gifting smiles. Our Socket to Chronic Illness campaign is all around helping children with hope and um, healing. So what happens is, is families receive a, a pair of socks for their children or the siblings or both based on someone else buying a pair of socks. So when you buy a pair, we give a pair. And then there's the bravery prizes that we give out in the infusion rooms in clinics. We provide the gas cards and food cards like I've mentioned in the past. And our holiday smiles is a time where we can shower families with the presents and toys and food cards and gas cards to get them through the holidays and to provide joy. We also host and fund family fun days, either through other agencies or um, hospitals. And sometimes we even provide coffee and snacks for families in hospitals or infusion rooms. But that delivering smiles doesn't stop there. We oftentimes deliver on behalf of other nonprofits, such as Kayla Cares for Kids, who provides entertainment for children who have long hospital stays, such as books and videos and video players. And then there's Bess the Book Bus Lady, who we dearly adore. She has provided books for us to deliver. And Ava's Angels is um, all for a young lady who has passed away. She battled two separate forms of cancer. And we've delivered gifts on, during the holidays in her name. And we have a new way of delivering smiles. This year, we're starting our Ann Nymark Young Adult Furthering Education Grant. We're doing this because we adore Ann Nymark and we want to thank her because she is the person 
who gave of her heart so that we could start our foundation. She is an individual in Tampa Bay who has endlessly given to our community, worked on foundations, fundraised, and she helped us when we first started Purple Players. Her wisdom has guided us and her heart has driven us so that we continue. That third goal of providing fellowships and scholarships and grants for children, or I'm sorry, for areas of specialty that have a critical need is also very dear to us. We have already provided $75,000 towards Pediatric Rheumatology Fellowship in partnership with the Arthritis Foundation and UF Health Shands Hospital. We are now in the process of providing $75,000 towards grant and fellowship for child life specialists at University of Florida Health Shands Hospital. We know that we can't do this alone. We are better when we do things together. So we enjoy partnering with other agencies and nonprofits who have initiatives of their own. And we may help them with either funding or conducting surveys, focus groups. Um, we really want to think about how to provide equity for all children who have rare diseases, multiple overlapping conditions. And this means that they will have access to diagnosis that is quick and efficient that they have the treatment they need and the social emotional supports so that they are healthy and they have opportunities in their life. It takes a village. We collect a lot of things and we make a lot of baskets and we do it together by assembling with our volunteers. And we're so excited that this kindness that we have in our hearts is cont contagious. Other children have taken initiative to help Purple Plays through their own ideas and their own initiatives. Trent and McKenna had a quarter auction where they provided funds to help children get to Camp Boggy Creek. Carrie had a scout project where he built power patch boxes so that our little patches could be stored in a clear lid, easy to wipe container, and children could look through to see which patch they wanted to work on earning. And the Fisher Girls, they have Pennies for Parker events every 4th of July, where they have such enthusiasm and cute ideas to help raise money. And of course, then there's Caden, who has delivered bravery prizes on behalf of, of Purple Playas, and her family has generously donated. Caden is our very first child advisor. She is on our advisory team, and we're so glad that she pours her heart and love into Purple Playas. And then there's all the people who walk beside us each and every day, who join us on our our walks to cure various diseases and who never stop believing in us. Those kind acts are so inspiring. And of course, all the siblings out there, Logan is Parker's sibling. He is our oldest son and he did a fundraiser called Pedal for PPF. And this is where he rode his bicycle from Gainesville to Tampa to raise funds and awareness. And he did this because this is the journey we have taken for years to get to Parker's treatment and infusions and even some of his surgeries and hospital stays. So we want you to know that we are very grateful and our hearts are so full because there are people in our lives who are continually pouring their love and support around Purple Playas. 
We even get fan mail from kids. How cool is that? And we do it all for Parker because his passion, his drive, and his love for children has taught us that through enduring so many different things around various medical issues that you can always have hope and you can always share kindness because you're never fully dressed without a smile. Thank you for listening.